Our second topic of the day. Yeah. And here we get to something that's always mind-boggling. Is mm. Where do we as humans come from? Or where do we originate from? And what is our relationship with all yeah, other organizations your, on Earth? Sorry, there's your question yeah, answered. They couldn't wait to get to human mm. evolution. And um, Lorraine, why are we classified as primates? Yes, just to say, primates are divided into two families, or uh, um, the order of primates rather, are divided into two families. The prosimians, in other words, before the apes, and the anthropoids. The um, hominids, gorillas, orangutans, chimps, and then we have our own groups, the hominins. And uh, there you can see, uh, um, Bonke asked, when did human evolution occur? And there you can see that the split between humans and their closest family, the chimpanzees, happened more than 8 million years ago. We have a common ancestor. We do not and we did not develop from chimpanzees or any other ape. We have a common ancestor. And uh, Colin, we will ask them later about our picture of human evolution. And yes, why are we regarded as primates? We, whether we want to know it or not, we are related to chimpanzees and gorillas. We are primates, and why? If you look at all those things, um, we have stereoscopic vision. We observe things uh, in a solid nature and objects. We have fingers and toes with flat nails, which means we don't have claws. We have opposable thumbs. Yes. And that means we can grip this precision grip, but also power grip. And um, we as humans, of course, you can take a, a needle in a thread and you can put it through there. That's precision grip. We have pentadactyl hands. Your thumb shows in an opposite direction of your other four fingers. And then we have large and complicated brains. A short snout with poor sense of smell. No, you don't. Yeah. Sorry, you don't look like your dog with this long snout and they smell yeah. very, very... You've got an acute sense of smell. We don't, even if we can smell, um, we won't be able to stuff out everything that they can. And we don't have the snout, and that is quite important. And I'm putting emphasis on this because mm. when we do comparisons, we'll talk yeah. about that again. Yeah, we're giving you these things. So when you are being asked to compare humans and, and different species with one another, humans with chimps or humans with other Australopithecus species, then these are the things that you have to point out. Mm. Okay, we also have limbs, but these are the things that make us primates. 